I think Brian and I both had the same views about organized religion. I mean, I'm probably, a, you know, I have a little more religious beliefs than he does probably, but, uh, you know, we, we realized that the organized religion thing was, you know, a way to control people. So we kind of played on that a little bit, and we knew that, you know, if you talk about that, you, you're going to piss off some people, and sometimes pissing off some people is a good thing, and, and you know, people are interested in you, people write about you, and there's something to say like that. So we always, you know, we had the same ideas about being individuals, and, and you know, we might have our own beliefs in God, but we didn't really follow an organized religion, at least, you know, to the T, and, you know, we weren't going to pass judgment on somebody just because of their religious beliefs. The imagery of the band was chosen early on. Well, first of all, with the name itself, you're dealing with serial killers, which we, we all, I think, had an interest in, you know, to some extent, you know, just what would make people become serial killers. So we had that, that interest in us, and we also knew, and, and, and Brian knew from interviewing, that being a clean-cut, wholesome band wasn't really gonna, you know, m you know, make an impact. You had to be a you know, have some great songs and whatever. So this was a way of saying, you know, this is what we have to say. You know, you might not like it, but you'd probably come by and listen if, you know, maybe protest outside or whatever you're gonna do. A lot of the people who didn't like it would come to the shows anyway. So, you know, you'd get their money and, you know, they would tell you how bad you sucked, but hey, you know, they were paying to come see you. So it's another body in the crowd that probably, you know, later conform conformed and, you know, became a follower, so. Originally, the band worked like this. Scott did all the music and Brian did the lyrics. And both myself and Perry were, were creative people and we were already writing songs and had been writing songs for quite a while. So, And I really wanted to be more of a vocalist than a bass player. So it was hard for us to just, just be players in the band. I mean, it was fun, but um, it was just hard to be, you know, not have the creativity aspect to it. Um, and I think really Scott developed the sound, you know, he, he would do all the instruments, so that really was the sound. And um, we did one song that uh, Brian and I both sang at, and I had written a song that, you know, as soon as I left the band, they stopped playing that song. But that was my only outlet, really, as, a, you know, being creative. And we definitely came from different schools as far as how we wrote, so that was difficult. Um, Zsa Zsa, which um, Perry, um, he hated it all along. He was kind of from a religious family, and even what we were doing back then, he really wasn't comfortable with. And every day, I mean, we'd practice, and he would just be like, "That's it, I, I, I'm quitting." And I would just beg him to, you know, keep this going. We're playing live. Get your practice, you know, playing live, and it, you know, it can't hurt. You could just, you know, it'll give you ideas to write. So uh, he hated it all along, and uh, so after a while, you know of not being able to write. We knew we were going to do collapsing lungs. You know, we knew we had to leave. And I, I think it all came to a head one day. We were rehearsing, and Zsa, Zsa had come up with a, um, a sequence. And Scott had actually left the warehouse and went to the bathroom. And so we were playing it for Brian at the time. And he was into it, and then uh, he kind of asked about it, and we told him we were going to do that for collapsing lungs. And meanwhile, um, Scott came running in. He was like, oh, this is really good. And I think he got behind a drum set that was in a warehouse at the time and started playing to it. And then um, after a couple minutes, Brian pulled him to the side and kind of, I guess, mentioned to him that that was going to be a collapsing lung song. And that was, that was the breaking point, I think, within a day or two. You know, Brian called me and told me that it wasn't, you know, working out. He was going to actually, his words were he was going to, you know, stop that he was going to dismantle the band and I kind of told him you know we're doing our thing keep this going you know it's no hard feelings you know we're, we, we were playing doing collapsing lungs and just keep on doing it and that's cool you know we had no problems at the time so 